Sublifters. Yesterday's title was from the Monogatari series, from Oshino Meme to be more precise. Um, a friend of mine commented and said Oshino, which is correct, however I want to remind him that Oshino is the surname and his name is Meme of that character. However, um, today I didn't really feel like training, so I thought mm, tomorrow I'm gonna get the second dose, so maybe I'll get knocked out and I didn't really feel like doing a heavy, like not a heavy but an intense session so I decided to record a video tutorial for the deadlift and so I felt quite good so I decided to max out my deadlift and see how much I can pull I know it's kinda weird because it doesn't really make any sense however that's what I did um, you can see that I'm warming up 60 kilograms the previous clip these are 80 kilograms and I was feeling quite good one thing that I kinda dislike about these videos is that when I have my shirt on uh, it's really hard to understand uh, how my back um, is actually looking meaning that um, there it's hard both because you can't really see my skin and it's also hard because I have low handles which make everything look a little bit rounder when in reality I really feel like my back is extremely uh, strict and you will also see for the one rep max that it seems like my back is kinda rounding and to be completely honest, I actually felt like it was rounding. I'm not going to lie. Um, however, I'm not sure I can. I'm not sure I can actually understand it from the clip. There, I failed because I couldn't keep the weight up. Which is we, right now it's 100 kilograms. So I'm quite happy because once upon a time I couldn't really hold 80 kilograms neither. So I'm improving the grip strength. Um, so yeah, next time I will definitely record, maybe maybe not from the back, but perhaps I will try to record from two point of views and one will be focused on my back, uh, especially since I'm pulling conventional and it's extra important in the conventional to have a back straight. Um, so yeah, uh, this is the one rep max and I'm gonna scream, so maybe lower the audio. Um, I feel like I just found that one moment. Uh, this was that one moment for me. And, wow, I'm extremely happy, number one. Number two, I honestly think that I can pull more. I didn't rewatch really watch it yet, I'm just pretty happy, I just screamed a bit. I'm kinda, you know, kinda camera shy, you know. So I just had a small gesture after I pulled it up, but I'm really, really happy. Um, I think I can pull more. Um... What else? Uh, using the chalk helped a lot because I have a lot of struggles usually to hold the bar up. Uh, I, again, I didn't watch it yet, so perhaps the lockout was kind of bad. However, I pulled it. I'm really happy. My form didn't break down. And perhaps I had even more, but this is good for today's video. Now I gotta do the rest of the session, which will probably be a bit lighter. But I'm extremely happy. So yeah, that was my speech um, and I'm quite happy. I felt extremely happy after pulling that, so that might be a sign. Uh, moving on, I did hyper extensions just because, as I said, I felt like my back rounded, so I wanted to make sure that everything was okay, so everything is okay, I have no pain whatsoever, no pain in my hip, no pain in my knees, no pain in my back, so honestly, if there is no pain, there is no problem, unless tomorrow I wake up and <laughs> I will have lost the use of the legs, however, of course, it's not gonna happen. Then I did some pull-ups, I decided to toy around because as I said I didn't really feel like training a lot today So I did four series, one with every grip that I'm used to use So the first one are wide and I think I did 9, 9, 8, 7 or something like that And I went uh, from the hardest to the easiest So first one uh, is the widest grip Then we have a closer grip, however still pronated And then we will move on and having it uh, a mid... Uh, how do I call it? A uh, neutral grip, I think, uh, which you will see in the next one. And then I did them with my hands um, supinated, so I'm using more of the bicep. Um, one thing that I found quite interesting today is that when I pulled the, 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 the one pull before the one rep max, actually seemed and actually felt harder. And you can also see my legs kind of shaking while I'm closing the, um, the rep. However, when I pulled the 145, there was no, sh no kind of shaking whatsoever. And I really feel like that is because um, I was more emotionally invested in it. I was the, the correct music, uh, the correct mindset, I kind of slapped myself. 
and I also watched the video of Lux Little and James English deadlifting before it and I mean that video is a banger you watch that video you can get ready to fight to lift how many kilograms how many you want <laughs> that that video is kind of crazy there are you can really see how much they love training how much they want to pull those things up and it's really contagious i'm gonna leave it in the comments actually go check it out it's extremely fun it's extremely short just two dudes having a, a good time deadlifting and they also have quite good form they are both power lifters and extremely strong at that so go check them out i'm gonna leave them in the comment um, the comments now I just did some hammer curls because I didn't want to do normal curls because I dislike them so I did this variation and I think I super set them with the rear delt work because as you know I'm using some kind of nuclei over um, nuclei overload if you allow me to use the term so um, it's quite important to actually keep it keep it quite consistent tomorrow I'm gonna train legs hopefully I will have no type of pain in my hips or whatsoever from today in theory, I still don't have any type of pain uh, since I ditched the, the sumo deadlift. So yeah, this was today's session. I'm really, really happy. Um, so yeah, nothing else to say. Now we're going to see um, what did I pull because there is going to be the picture. There we go. I did the singles for 100, 110, 120, 130, 145. Yeah, I jumped to 145 because a friend of mine pulled 143 like three or four months ago. So I was like, yeah, come on, uh, I gotta compete a little bit with him, right? So I tried pulling more, and yeah, uh, I, I did it, so I'm quite happy. And I also believe that perhaps if I rested like 10 minutes, I could have pulled 150, 155, just because of how the rep went. It went up extremely easily, in my opinion. And there was, it wasn't a grinder, you know, when you see people deadlifting um, really, really hard weight, you can see their legs shaking and so on. So I feel like um, it was just, it was an okay weight, but I feel like I, I could have done more. But, you know, it's not really my interest since I'm bodybuilding. So that's it for today's video. See you guys tomorrow.